Please be seated. We would also like to acknowledge the presence of the following. Honorable Benjamin B. Magalong, Mayor, City of Baguio. Undersecretary Ariel R. Cacolitan, Office of the Presidential Advisor on Military Affairs. Vice Admiral Edgar L. Abogado, Philippine Navy Retired, former Superintendent, Philippine Military Academy. Members of PMA Makatao Class of 1989 and their ladies. To the Cagayan National High School in their 43rd anniversary of Batch 1980, with Vice Admiral Robert A. M. Pedrad, Philippine Navy Retired, former Flag Officer in Command, Philippine Navy. And the Philippine Army Officers Ladies Club Incorporated, headed by Dr. Eileen R. Espina, President, Philippine Army Officers Ladies Club Incorporated 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, good morning. Today's ceremony begins with the entrance of the Philippine Military Academy Band. Academy traces its roots on October 25, 1898, when the Academia Militar was established by the President of the Philippine Revolutionary Army, General Emilio Aguinaldo. Since its inception, PMA has undergone several changes that led to its reputation of being an institution of excellence. It epitomizes the best traditions of the noble profession of arms and bears the highest standards of character, founded in honor and fortified by discipline. It has a proud heritage to cherish, a glorious tradition to uphold, and a vital mission to accomplish. Throughout more than 100 years, the Academy has survived and kept its basic character, a military organization committed to training young men and women for service to God, country, and people. With all this in mind, the Academy looks forward to the future as it continuously most leaders for the nation, espousing the values of courage, integrity, and loyalty. Attention call has just been sounded, signaling the entrance of the Cadet Corps Armed Forces of the Philippines.
the Philippine Military Academy, started with the establishment of the Academia Militar on October 25, 1898, in Malolos, Bulacan, by the power of a decree issued by the Philippine Republic President, General Emilio Aguinaldo. The Academia was a school which awarded its graduates regular commissionship in the Armed Forces of the Philippines, which lasted until 20 January 1899, before hostilities between the Filipinos and the Americans erupted. On 17 February 1905, an officer school of the Philippine Constabulary was founded at the walled city of Intramuros in Manila. Three years later, on 01 September 1908, the school was transferred to Baguio City, initially at Camp Henry T. Allen, and subsequently a teacher's camp. On 08 September 1926, the Philippine Legislature passed Republic Act 3496, which renamed the school the Philippine Constabulary Academy and lengthened its course from nine months to three years, with provisions to strengthen the faculty and revise its curriculum. On 21 December 1935, Commonwealth Act No. 1, also known as the National Defense Act, was passed. The Act formally created the Philippine Military Academy and authorized to confer a Bachelor of Science degree to its graduates after they successfully complete the four-year course. The outbreak of the Second World War disrupted training in the academy. Classes of 1942 and 1943 graduated ahead of schedule, and its members were assigned to combat units of Bataan and other parts of the country. Many perished in the war. On 05 May 1947, the academy reopened at Camp Henry T. Allen. Due to the need for wider grounds, the academy moved to its present site at Fort Del Pilar in Luwakan, some 10 kilometers away from downtown Baguio City and named after the young hero of Tirad Pass, General Gregorio H. Del Pilar. It was developed into a military training institution with facilities and infrastructures required by a growing academy. In the 1960s, the academy underwent major changes as those few humanistic courses were added to balance the techno-scientific disciplines with a view towards providing a well-rounded education that is relevant to the needs of a growing AFP. With the implementation of Republic Act 7192, the acceptance of women in the academy was introduced. With this act, the academy made a step towards the recognition of women's status and equality. The female cadets have undergone practically what their male counterparts have been tasked to do. Although living in a separate quarters, they've been afforded equal treatment and training. Today, the Philippine Military Academy remains focused on its vision to reach the international standards of military academies by the year 2028, producing military professional of character dedicated to protect and help build the nation. Its mission adheres to the philosophy that adopts a holistic view of a man as a body, soul, and spirit. PMA believes that future leaders can be selected, formed, and developed to their fullest potentials. Under this concept, PMA's leader development program contains character development, a balanced college education, military leadership, and physical development. This total person concept is aptly captured in the PMA's mission statement to instruct, train, and develop the cadets so that each graduate shall possess the character, the broad, and basic military skills, and education essential to the successful pursuit of a progressive military career. As a valued centered leader in selfless service to the armed forces of the Philippines and the nation, this young men and women in front of you, composed of the Cadet Corps Armed Forces of the Philippines, coming from different regions of the archipelago, ranging as far north as Batanes, to as far south as Tawi Tawi, they were carefully selected to a series of competitive mental and physical examinations. These cadets represent different levels of our society and from all walks of life. These cadets before you are the future leaders of our armed forces and our nation.
soon as the platoons occupy their respective places, the regimental adjutant designates Alpha Company as the base company. In a brisk manner, called the adjutant's shot, the regimental adjutant makes his way midway between the line of troops and the troop commander. In like manner, the battalion adjutants join their respective battalion staff. The regimental adjutant orders all platoon guides and sergeants to take their posts, in line with their platoons. The regimental adjutant orders the corps to present arms. The regimental adjutant faces about, salutes, and renders support to the regimental commander that the cadet corps is formed.
in a short while. The regimental commander will give a series of commands for the court to execute. The manual of arms. Starting with right shoulder arms, left shoulder arms. Port arms. Order arms. Inspection arms. And finally, order arms. The regimental commander orders the adjutant to account the troops. After receiving the reports, the regimental adjutant faces about, salutes and renders report to the regimental commander. Sir, the Corps, all present and accounted for. The regimental commander orders the adjutant to publish the order of the day. After publishing the order, the regimental adjutant gives the command officer center march. 
He then proceeds to his position with the regimental staff. As cadet officers from each battalion march forward to receive instructions from the regimental commander. Communications, orders, and disseminations must pass through proper channels. This is a practice observed in the military profession, which signifies the importance of the chain of command. Through the chain of command, a more effective and efficient working arrangement results among men in arms. Now, approaching the grandstand, ladies and gentlemen, are the members of the chain of command. The officers of the Cadet Corps Armed Forces of the Philippines. Upon the salute of his officers, the regimental commander acknowledges gives instructions, and directs them to proceed back to their respective posts. While inside the hollow grounds of this great institution, the cadets must endure the challenging training. The military system characterizes and distinguishes the unique life inside PMA. It fosters punctuality, order, discipline, and respect for authority. By placing a cadet in a uniform plane, it enables these young men and women to advance their self-reliance, initiative, and strength of character. The regimental commander orders the court to present arms, to present the court to our guests of honor, Police General Rodolfo S. Azarin Jr., Chief, Philippine National Police. The audience is requested to stand. Thank you. You may now be seated.
Military ceremonial parades has been established to bestow honor to the Philippine flag, our national symbol. Recipients of awards and decorations are also accorded to this honor. This is followed by the inspection of the troops if the reviewing officer so desires. Police General Rodolfo S. Azurin Jr., who is a distinguished member of the Philippine Military Academy, PMA Makatao Class of 1989, took on the mantle as the 28th Chief of Philippine National Police. He was born on April 24, 1967 in Paniki, Tarlac, and was raised in Latinidad, Binguet. He has proven to be the epitome of an excellent and professional police officer in his more than three decades of public service, forged in hard work, integrity, discipline, and unwavering sense of duty to serve and protect. Ladies and gentlemen, trooping in line before you is our guest of honor, Police General Rodolfo S. Azurin Jr., Chief Philippine National Police. He is accompanied by the Superintendent of the Philippine Military Academy, Lieutenant General Rowan Estolentino, Philippine Army, and by the Acting Regimental Commander, Cadet Second Class Joshua Gonzalez, CCAFP. Police General Rodolfo S. Azurin Jr.'s unyielding determination to public service is exemplified by his peace and security framework with his malasakit, kaayusan, at kapayapaan tungo sa kaunlaran program and kasimbayanan program indeed reflect his commitment to public service and his dedication to ensuring the safety and security of the Filipino. As the outgoing PNP chief, Police General Azurin's leadership has been marked by a strong emphasis on ethical conduct and accountability among his fellow officers. He has demonstrated a firm resolve to weed out corruption and other forms of wrongdoing within the organization, while also working to build trust and confidence with the communities that PNP serves. He's happily married to Ms. Mary Grace Azurin and a responsible father to their three children, Martin Philip, Nina Frances, and Aaron Miguel. Looking back at history, Trooping the Line was brought by the invasion of mainland Greece by the Dorians in 1200 BC. This is the act of expecting the soldiers before and after each battle. Today, we still observe the military tradition to signify the common trust between the troops and their commander. Ladies and gentlemen, our guests of honor, Police General Rodolfo S. Azarin Jr., Chief, Philippine National Police. The regimental commander orders the callers to proceed to the center for the awarding ceremony.
May we request everyone to rise for the honors to the nation. Thank you. You may now be seated. We request Mrs. Mary Grace Azarin to join the honorary for the awarding ceremony. Headquarters, Philippine Military Academy, Fort General Gregorio H. Del Pilar, Baguio City. Dated 22 April 2023, the Outstanding PMA Alumnus Award, Ulirang Alumnus ng Akademya, pursuant to HPMA Standard Operating Procedure Number 11. Dated 10 June 2015, the Outstanding PMA Alumnus Award is hereby presented to Police General Rodolfo S. Azarin Jr., O-03861, 03861 Philippine National Police, PMA Makatawa Class of 1989. In recognition of his distinguished service in various fields of endeavors and designations, and as the Chief, Philippine National Police. This milestone in his brilliant careers is a testimony of exemption leadership and dedication that brought honor to his proud alma mater, given this 22nd day of April 2023 at the headquarters, Philippine Military Academy, Fort General Gregorio H. Del Pilar, Baguio City. Signed, Rowan S. Tolentino, Lieutenant General, Philippine Army, Superintendent, Philippine Military Academy. Please be seated.
The regimental commander orders the court to pass in review. Ladies and gentlemen, passing in review before you is the Cadet Corps Armed Forces of the Philippines, led by the Acting Regimental Commander, Cadet Second Class, Joshua Gonzalez from Polomolok, South Cotabato, with his staff, Darwin Jokno from Taguig City, Ferdi Vergara from Matipolo Rizal, Angelo Bailon from Cavite, Martin Alberto from Paranaque, Joshua Cabotan from Ifugao, Joseph Gapos from Nueva Vizcaya, and John Barbacena from Albay. The Philippine Military Academy Band, under the baton of Musicians Meet Second Class, Benji O. Tilintuno, Philippine Navy. Excellence Battalion Commander, Algin Emotin from Makati City, with his staff, Kelvin Oshal from Manila, Maribel Autencho from Palawan, Neil Belotandas from Bukidnon, Danica Marie Dinoso Viray from Pasay City, Sheila Sacro from Agusan del Sur. Alfred Company Commander, Jamver Soriano from Pangasinan with his staff, Vince Raimundo from Camarines Norte, Ronald Aka from Misamis Oriental, and Kenneth Salvatierra from Bulacan, First Platoon Leader, Amiel Estrada from Davao del Sur, Ilo Policarfi from Rizal, with the Company First Sergeant, Roncher Bernabe from Isabela, Bravo Company Commander, Emmanuel Kibal from Batangas with his staff, Lancelot Treig from Albay, Ana Moral from Zambales and Dennis Garpa from Tarlac, 1st Platoon Leader, Jose Acar from Batangas, 2nd Platoon Leader, Janela Calumba from Quezon Cito with his company 1st Sergeant, Kian Penofor from Cavite. Chivalry Battalion Commander, Tyrone Verdera from Batangas with his staff, Keen Jr. from Surigao del Norte, Eric Nickdaw from Pampanga, Jesli Sunier from Iloilo, Ayesa Candelario from Negros Occidental, Charin Candelario from Katagig City, Charlie Company Commander, Steve Niniwaten from Talise Cebu with his staff, Joe Ward Cedeno from Davao City, Kenjin Gabole from Gokolod, Kevin Bercasio from Camarines Sur, 1st Platoon Leader, Dexter Hinampas from Bohol, 2nd Platoon Leader, Martin Tabangkay from Montinlupa with his company for Sergeant, Kenneth Aurelio from Camerini Sur. Delta Company Commander, Jerome Frondoza from Coronadal City with his staff, Lea Bersabal from Butuan City, Henry Dampal from Isamis Oriental, John Hernandez from Batangas, 1st Platoon Leader, Tristan Beljano from Nueva Vizcaya, 2nd Platoon Leader, Mark Austria from Puerto Princesa with the Company 1st Sergeant, Josh Parangao from Pampanga,
As the colors pass in front of you, we request everyone to rise and render the appropriate courtesy. You may sit down after the colors have passed. Ladies and gentlemen, the colors led by its color officer, Cadet Second Class, James B. Vargas, Humility Battalion Commander, Junre Castillo from Sarangani Province with his staff, Chris Solomon from Nueva Ecija, Morgan Duking from Ilocos Sur, Jean Arsenal from Zamboanga Sibugay, CJ Magaro from Isabela, Crystal Delas from Oriental Mindoro, Echo Company Commander, Einstein Basungit from Mountain Province, with his staff, Nico Fardo from Nueva Ecija, Judy Cantor from Nogros Occidental, from Turk Second Platoon Leader, Vincent Blanco from Quezon City. Second Platoon Leader, Samuel Santos from Pangasinan with his Company First Sergeant, Jefferson Montoya from Batangas. Foxtrot Company Commander, James Manuel from Taguig City with his staff. Jan Bitago from Davao City, Leo Papagaya from Ilocos Sur, and Paul Malaya from Isabela. First Platoon Leader, Jairo Selim from Davao City. Second Platoon Leader, Howell Alalim from Coronadal City with his company for sergeant, Jess Briones from Aurora. Dignity Battalion Commander and Matthew Chage from Legaspi City with his staff, Red Franca from Davao del Sur, Jan Taboy from Quezon City, Efren Calcitas from Davao, Jan Pipito from Cebu, Ronnie Aliparo from Pampanga, Golf Company Commander, Emmanuel Barrios from Sarangani with his staff, Ben Abihuela from Albay, Ethan Jason from Baguio City, Rafael Solarta from Taguig, First Platoon Leader, Cedric Nacones from Cotabato, Second Platoon Leader, Don Pinto from Taguig City, with his Company First Sergeant, John Baran from Cebu City, Hawk Company Commander, Justin Job Cañete Canema from Liloan, Cebu, with his staff, Jerry Dulawan from Ifugao, Aaron Garcia from South Cotabato, and Vincent Lilo from Batangas. First Platoon Leader, Mark Solitario from Quezon City. Second Platoon Leader, John Conrad from Pangasinan with his Company First Sergeant, John Escoto from Aurora.
That concludes this morning's ceremony. On behalf of the superintendent and the commandant of the Dutch, Philippine Military Academy, we appreciate your visit to PMA. Maraming salamat po at mabuhay ang Republika ng Pilipinas.